guys, so uh, we're out here at the house and Jamie has made a pretty unique purchase over here. This, so this is a hint. Yeah. So maybe anybody this, can figure maybe this will be a short at first. Yeah, if anybody can figure out what make that them is. guess what this what does this go to? Let's see how many of you Yeah. But anyways, so this bad son buck right here came home with him the other night it is a 2023 honda crf 450r 50th anniversary edition uh it's 63 horsepower it is a ripper um he's done a little putting around and stuff at his house but we figured we'd bring it out here and i'd mowed all our trails and stuff down that we've got through the woods and stuff over there so uh we're gonna ride for a few minutes and put it around and see what it'll do so feel her out a little bit I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm a little scared of this thing it's <laughs> 20 years newer than anything i've ever owned yeah so My, it's uh it's a bad son buck this is the color combo of a bike that my dad bought in 86 or 87 i can't remember but yeah yeah, XR. I mean, it, it comes with a lot of unique stuff like it's a different graphic package obviously for the 50th anniversary but gold wheels they don't come on any other bike than this one it's got renthal bars already on it it's got the blue seat it's it's uh it's pretty sweet uh it's probably one of the cleanest looking bikes i've ever seen in person but anyways we're gonna get so, unloaded and yep. see what she sounds like 50th anniversary that was 1973 when the elsinore come out that was their first production motocross bike and this one's this is 50 years later yeah fuel injection yep show i think show of shocks I don't know what all the goodies are on there. You'll have to, have yeah. to read the brochure. Right. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get this thing unloaded and see what she's got. Me falling off. Huh? Me falling off. Yeah. you over just about <laughs> i was backpedaling no kickstand she's cold new bike It's still in the break-in period. <laughs> right. So, like he said, it's still in the break-in period. Like, he hadn't really rode it a ton. But I figured he'd come out here and put around for a few minutes in the grass. And we got those trails over there. I got the Raptor out, so I'm going to ride around with him for a minute. But it's got a lot of cool options. It's got launch control. And I don't know. It's got a ton of cool stuff on it. But... He's still trying to figure it out and get used to it. But. Alright, well, we rode back one lane road and 
stopped to take a little breather, rode some trails and stuff. My phone died before we could really <laughs> film anything. But what's your uh, what's your synopsis so oh, far, sir? This thing's a beast. It's definitely got more capabilities than the rider. So it's it's uh, touchy. I know that. I, I've never had a race bike before like this, so I'm not used to. You got to get it. Really got to keep it moving. You know. Yeah, I mean, we we rode through some of them trails and. Some of them require you to kind of, you know, touch brakes here and there and kind of slow down. Like, I am I was putting through there just in second gear on this Raptor, but the second you start slowing down on that thing, it tries to die on you. So, it like, it, it's wanting to go. It, it just, it ain't a woods bike, you know. That but, guy told me that, but I bought it anyway. But I had to get it a 50th anniversary. Ain't nobody really, like, what is it, three, 300 and something of them even made so far yeah. out on the market. I think and 300 then, of them got sent out to dealers. And yeah. I, I bet honda did something with the first few like for demos and things but yeah so supposedly one this is one through so one through four is, went to uh, the race team went to the race team when they debuted it i, don't, I can't remember what race that was i had to look it up but uh yeah yeah but yeah so it's it's a sweet bike but yeah like only three of them got 300 of them got sent out this is one of them so yep. went pretty. looking for 243 ammo and came home with a 450 caliber bullet <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is a bullet that's a freaking fast on buck but yeah we're gonna head back to the house and get it loaded back up but yeah it's a pretty sweet body we figured we'd just do a little short video since it's kind of a once in a once in a blue moon kind of deal getting something like this so we figured we'd feature it on the channel since there's only 300 to 350 of them even in existence right now so kind of cool to have one in our presence still haven't seen that so, number on anything published that's just word yeah that's from people that's kind of coming from people that are the dealers and then you other. know we we got it from kentucky gun company at the uh kentucky power sports they got a honda dealership in the back of kentucky gun company they got their sticker so back here if you yeah KP, so kentucky yeah power so sports. they've got that on the back of there but yeah they're good bunch of guys up there we've gone in there and bought some fox racing stuff from them before me and austin and the boys have but but yeah so we're gonna take it back around and yeah. load it up and Let's see if i can run this thing out of gas it's only got a 1.7 gallon tank i gotta run uh premium in it yeah. the way the computer's tuned in this thing but all right well we're gonna head back to the house gear loaded up and we'll see y'all there guys well got a little break-in period there for the, the new honda um it's pretty cool seeing it you know rip around a little bit we i wish we could have filmed the trails and stuff like that but i didn't have my chest mount and all that set up and my phone ended up dying before we really got into it but got some good videos of it rolling out here on the yard and then uh we used jamie's phone and filmed some rolling shots going down the back roads and stuff so but uh anyways um pretty slick bike man not every day you get an opportunity to get the dirt bike dirty for the first time <laughs> yeah i mean this is brand spanking new zero hours on it so it's just now really time to really getting in there so time to do some maintenance already yep. chain the new chain blues you get, you get a little stretch to it yep so odding in things and still trying to figure out the braking and all that and gearing i mean it's a whole it's a beast it's a lot of bikes to try to figure i just out. gotta know when to yeah, but anyways, so appreciate you guys hanging out with us and checking it out. And uh, I guess we'll catch you all in the next one.